Onivia, League of Legends highlights. I feel like her her like early wave push with the Q nerfs. Um, you still get the killer instinct combos with Nautilus feel great later on. And with Rise Realm Warp, how well Abadabe has been getting around the map, you know, even going to be a lot slower getting to his level six because it's going to take two more clears for him. Meanwhile, Nautilus gank on a flashless Lucian. Ooh, they're going to find the Ripper. They know he's flashless. They know he has absolutely no way out. This should be a guaranteed kill. Exhaust for the slow for good measure. Q is going to land first blood. 3v1 mid lane. Dark Seal. Contracts has, with his first ultimate has flash available on top of it. The dream scenarios are there for your ultimates into flash to reposition and, and just demolish a skirmish. There's so much burst potential. But All they right. catch Braum. And on Ignar, he still has Flash, but the shield up. He's gonna be fine. Team is gonna There it is! Here comes a fight! And Diana leads it yep. in, and Diana shuts down Abadaga. How about the rest of this battle, though? Four versus three. Gonna find the knockup onto Viego, and Closer forced to actually stay around. The health bar is getting low on Evil Genius. His one for zero. All it's gonna happen in the exhaust. Oh. Is it enough? He whiffs the flash! A clutch exhaust from Ignar. For Harold, the Skull. gang is here. But yeah, <laughs> again, bot lane is absolutely uh, definitively easy. Oh, 3v3 three three over Crab! It's a fight for the Crab. Ulti coming across from Nautilus, finds all three stuns. Danny dropped a bit low, but he's gonna be okay. Diana gets the ulti, but no damage. Contracts jumped upon, and FBI finds the kill. Contracts may well be dead. One of them is a big old mid laner. So that is gonna be 100 Thieves, huge victory in the bottom river. What does Suzuka have to say about it? Well, he pushed one. Well, do it herself, Dan. That's that Danny meme. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> and indeed, well, this is, I think, the turret dead to the explosive charge. Indeed. Uh -huh. He's looking for the top turret. Should be able to get it while Ignar buys him some time. All right, so down goes top lane outer once again. Game. And it will indeed guarantee mid lane outer turret falls. Well, we will see if they're able to get any damage. Or gangplank. So they're going to push hard on top side and try to trade this dragon for some of that standing gold. Top tower will definitely go down. Route. Viego's cutting on the yeah. inside too. They will get paid. Has to hide away. So one turret finally on the scoreboard. 100 Thieves able to get. Actually, that, that was pretty big. They actually called Someday over from the bottom lane push. Someday's in mid lane now instead of pushing on bottom side because they don't want to have to use his teleport and they're so worried about it. His contract's a viable option. Still has flash, burns it right away. Gonna still be ulted. Orin Horn coming across, knock up on the two. And that means big damage on Abadaga. Gets away, but a rocket jump is in for the chase. Buster jump puts him at 50 and impact as the flash follow. Huge by Danny. But on the other side of the map, they're going right back in. FBI ults in off the teammate, and that's two kills. Closer gets the resets. Huge knockouts by who? He had huge target awareness by FBI. That anchor toss was perfect, though your mid laner is down. He is not needed. And it's a freak. Danny, what can he do about it? Danny and Impact, the only two left. Teleport comes through, but Baron is dropping so quickly. 5k and counting. No ults for either one, but they've got a front line. They've got a decent chance of dealing some damage. Closer dropped a bit low, but does have his smite. He could die. Gets his smite in time. Will not quite drop to Triss. The red buff burn makes it happen. But I'm sorry, you are going to die, Impact. One Baron buff taken off the table, but now they have congealed yet again. How's this fight going to look? Danny level 13. One level up in FBI and has both summoners on the Tristana. First dragon reset comes in as they had juggled aggro back and forth. And it walks back into the pit. Knockups come across. Impact pretty low. Put down a half HP. Ignar almost gone, but not dead just yet. Someday barrel only hits Danny. First knockout comes across. It's Huhi in the front line. And Huhi just deletes himself for the engage. And oh, it's not enough damage out of the jungler. Already Diana is down and Closer is hungry for more. Looking for impact to drop. May just have it happen. Jazuke going to be stunned. <laughs> and he's just not going to kill Braum. He's used to be cold. The Kaling does nothing. And they're going to find the rest going forward. A shutdown comes through for FBI as well. That's the kind of fight you want to see. The Bud Light Ace comes through for 100 Thieves. And the 100 Thieves are going to take what's not given to them since 2018, Freak. They're looking to take this series. They're looking to take a top three spot in the LCS, and they're looking to take a trip to Worlds. The Baron buff will allow them inside the base. Inhibitor towers are down over a 6,000 gold. The Baron buff, and it could not have gotten worse. 
Just a landslide victory in that. You give up other areas of the map. So all that's important for 100 Thieves now is during the split push to get something off mid. They're going right. to have to bring Danny and... Yeah, that's just a lot of damage. A great stopwatch immunes the ulti in from Danny, but gets the rocket jump slow, times it well, gets the auto attack afterwards, and that's now two kills. Series for elimination. And neither EG nor C9 would like that, but that's the path they're headed toward right now. As the next dragon's up to two and a half, that's not the important part. It's Baron spawning. And all of EG and Fog means who he has to check. Gets caught up, puts the ulti across, and will not die. Gets the flash away. Danny forced out as well. Tristana finally gets the kill. That's a reset. 5v4, is it winnable? Oh, it's not when Contrast gets deleted just like that. And they're going to go for a bit more. The flash in. Closer can taste blood. He wants it. Oh. And he is going to ruin every single kingdom that EG have ever seen. As another one goes down. One death, but three kills. And, and this one, they'll get to march all the way inside the base. How crazy is it watching a lot of these fights where you know, someone like so Diana has already walked in with the Realm Warp and it's time to run away yet again for EG. Impact will find himself stunned up, immunes the knock, but the stun, of course, still goes through. That's how that one works. His closer gets away with the explosive charge. Mid inhibitor is down. This is why someday goes for use your ultimate, kites out, allows for the rest of the team to come rescue. They take the mid inhibitor, they take the dragon. And that is dragon number three. Coming up his, his still undefeated Tristana. He's fighting with his life, with his team to try and keep their hopes alive, but Realm Warp inside, like and that it. tower is down. Who needs to play wave control when you can bring the wave yourself? And it's going to be pushing in a bot side. And him not down just yet. Stun's going to come across onto only two, who he deleted. And now we watch the rest of the fight. Huge damage to the Ignar. He will drop as well. One for one, but they've knocked out FBI. Danny! And Danny's in for another, but now he is down. Someday left alone after the Tristana triple kill. He and his jungler may not have the damage they need. A 2v3 is not going to happen. Danny picks up a triple. He's very willing to go for it. He's circling around on evil geniuses as they have Jazuke coming teleport channeled as well for impact frontline is here not going to find the barrel though impact is full health of course has the ulti has an abyssal mask for the 15 percent damage amp to anyone <laughs> on his team if he finds the stun hook right onto the orn little tiny tower there Okay, here is the knockup, but only on a Huhi. Is that a good enough fight? Oh, he's almost deleted. Nearly down. Pops the shield. GPO buys a lot of space, and that means EG gonna walk back. Rocket jump buys a bit of space, but still has to burn the stopwatch. Good barrel damage. The front line might die. It's EG forced to run. No, a damage on Abadaga. Nearly kills him off. Contract's gonna be low. Gonna be dropped. One for nothing. Push back now. No one's left alive. They've gotta run. They've gotta run. No, Danny steps up, and Danny shuts down one. Mid laner is dead, though. And oh! it's gonna be another oh! kill in. Danny is doing it. Oh, Danny shuts down FBI. The rookie of the year puts his team on his back, but he's one versus two. He single-handedly keeps EG in the upper bracket. It's Danny versus the world. It's Danny versus the 100 Thieves, and Danny's, Danny's going to get one. Danny could get two. Holy God, he's so damn good at this game. Damn, Danny, he does it again! The Tristan to kill, by the way. I think he got a triple in the main fight. I'm not sure, but he stops melting. Look at this. Baron has started up. It's at 50% HP. You see closer on your screen getting close, but it looks like evil geniuses are going to get that Baron. They have him outside the pit. They got it. They did. It's a new king in town. It's Danny. Danny has immaculate aim. We'll see what else he can do because this game has closed up pretty tightly. Who he just gets deleted from the calling, and this could be a game-winning push. Baron buff is on. They want the middle inhibitor. Contracts gets Abadaga, and everyone else is just gonna fall. Bow to the new king of the LCS. It is Danny leading the charge. Evil geniuses. We're in a three versus five, and Danny took them all by himself. They're going to get the rest of the turrets. They're going to get the rest of the kills. Down goes the rest. We're hearing the players scream. We couldn't be more excited for the next Bud Light Ace for the game to end and bring on the Silver Scrapes. Danny is your new god. Danny is the best rookie we've ever had in the history of the LCS, Freak. What?